Hello everyone, welcome to another video from xfactortrader.com. Let's get right into some of these charts, guys. Uh, let's start off with Plug. Uh, Plug is making a very, very strong reversal candle on huge volume, guys. As you can see, this reversed very, very, very sharply. It pretty much took out the last uh, three days right here on one candle, and now it's kind of making an inside uh, bar pattern here. Uh, it's within a, it's a smaller bullish pattern within a bigger bearish pattern. I guess that's the best way I can see it. See, it could be making a nice up mood, and it pulled back on lighter volume. So this could be another uh, smaller bullish pattern inside a bigger bear, inside a bigger bearish pattern. So in the micro sense, this could be a smaller bull flag, but in the more bigger pattern, this could be a, a, a nice big inside bar pattern. So if this played out, uh, it would probably be sold into. If the measured move does come out, probably roughly. Uh, roughly around nine bucks and change. Okay, just based off, just based off eyeing it uh, on estimations, uh, that's what it comes out. It look like it would get to uh, roughly around that area of uh, just going off uh, symmetrical moves uh, off that current pattern. So not much to go here. You know, if it pull back back into the 20-day moving average, maybe you get one more uh, a, a pullback here and a Doji candle, then that could be a nice spot for you to go long and attack back to 850 and that would be your first target on uh, plug but not much going there let's look at UNG just a few more charts guys as I'm just scanning a few charts uh, to end the day beautiful day of trading and I hope you guys profited beautifully like I have uh, over the last day okay guys this is the UNG bouncing off the 50 day moving average pretty much with the rest of these charts uh, nice doji candle here and pulling back right off the highs from the 10 day moving average so uh, this was a bear flag that's trying to play out but it's stalling right at the 50 day now it's getting a bounce so it probably needs to consolidate here and make another pattern before uh, you can really do anything right now there's nothing really to do on UNG uh, your spot to go long was obviously if you wanted to give it a shot here at the 50 day when it made uh, that doji candle and that's when I made that call for a bounce and a lot of these stocks and the market overall okay let's look at uh, let's see what else I have let's look at uh, Zynga uh, just look at that and see what if there's anything uh, Zanga is actually looking pretty. It looks like it closed below this consolidation gap. Okay, this is where it gapped up and it did break it. And now it's headed right to the 20 day moving average. There's a support here as well. So, this is your secondary support after that broke. Uh, this is your next support here. And it's right on the right now. So, let's see how that reacts. The next spot is obviously gap fill. But this looks like a failed pattern. You have to be very cautious whenever it makes a high base like this and it starts coming down. It could be starting to head down back to this uh, pivot right here. Ultimately, let me draw that in on Zanga. That's at 490, and your next level is obviously 460 on Zanga on the daily chart. Let's look at the weekly chart to see if there's anything else. Yeah, and this topping tail right here, this is pretty much a topping tail made on the weekly chart. So that's another bear signal that I would not touch it until it minimally gets to 490. Uh, any, anything else you want to play, it must must be a very short-term trade, in my opinion. Okay, until, until you hit bigger support on the daily chart. Probably 460 with the 200. I'm sorry, with the 50-day moving average, with the, which is a green line here. That's your spot. And it's, notice also coincides with that previous breakout. See how it's resistance pulled back, broke above it on volume. You know that's a breakout area. So whenever it goes back to that breakout area, that is your spot to pick it up. 450, 50% retracement on Zanga as well. Uh, let me just go, just run through these charts, guys. I'm just scanning it. Uh, by air, I'm not. I didn't, didn't do any previous analysis. This kind of shows you if you know how to read charts, you can just do a quick run analysis on any chart. Look at this is LVS Las Vegas Sands. I'm just going through any chart right now. Beautifully bouncing off the 50 day, you know, almost got there, but you know, same thing. Got a time count here, uptrending chart, bouncing beautifully there. Same thing. Let's go look at some other charts here. Let's look at Citigroup. Citigroup, uh, it looks like it's retesting this double bottom, making a higher. A higher low so that's that's what kind of I'm looking for on Twitter as well something like this on Twitter where it's gonna almost get there to the double bottom but then just bounces right before it. so if you go back to Twitter this kind of reminds me of that Twitter chart not exactly the same chart but this is why I, I thought that Twitter could bounce before it gets to that double bottom and made a doji candle so if it's anything like Citigroup's chart which is kind of similar on a gap down choppy choppy 
retest the double bottom, but it doesn't quite get there, but it makes a nice little doji candle. I think it does have another one or day, uh, two or days, two days or so upside and maybe test this trend line. And if it wants to break out, and then obviously it has more upside. But I think the pattern needs to develop more in the bigger time frames if you want to get involved on a longer term basis. Okay, guys. So that is that. Let's go look at see if there's anything else. I want to just run through very quickly as I'm just scanning through some charts. Uh, not really that much, guys, to tell you the truth. Uh, pretty much the call was made yesterday for the market bounce, and that's what I really want to harp on. Uh, and I hope you guys uh, got some. Hope you guys, some of you guys caught that and caught some of the move. Okay, guys, uh, check out our website xfactortrader.com. We have a 15-day free trial. Hope you guys decide to check it out, and I'll talk to you guys later.